the Lord will have his vengeance. These guns aren't gonna shoot themselves. Amen. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So you never pulled the trigger? No, no. no. I, I would never point a gun at anybody to pull a trigger. Uh, now, there, the, the, there are detents that catch the hammer, you know, at each point in the way. I could let go at any point, and the, the, the firing pin never will impact uh, a casing. This looks like some very, very bad news for Mr. Alec, as he gave a horrendously uh, bad interview sympathy farming over his event over the events that took place on set and now it's being reported that charges are likely or absolutely not ruled out and a legal expert referred to the interview as super risky legal move he could regret and then just hours later he deleted his entire social media he deleted his twitter account his wife deleted her twitter account i wonder why that is could it be that you have all sorts of terrible takes on your twitter account could it be that you took the twitter account that you used to address the event and rather than delete the tweet you completely removed it something very very fishy is going on here and it's all too uh, uh, uh it's all too welcome for someone as terrible as alec who by the way is also on the flight list of that one individual who we all know who I'm talking about. This and more after a quick word from Established Titles. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Established Titles. Now this may be the most interesting sponsorship I've had yet. Established Titles is a project based on a historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to as lords and ladies. The Established Title Pack gives you at least one square foot of dedicated land on a private estate in Scotland and an official certificate with a crest. It looks absolutely sick. Lord Jeremy from the quartering, my official proclamation. Also remember that they have a charity partner, Trees for the Future and One Tree Planted. They plant a tree for every single order, which is absolutely awesome. So you can get this sweet gift for someone or yourself. You can get a certificate proving your title as well as a unique plot number with which you can see the exact location of your land. Established titles might be one of the best last minute gifts ever. You could get even a couple pack for you and your partner where you get adjoining plots of land. Getting this certificate also helps you officially change your name to Lord or Lady and get it on a credit card or some other, whatever else you want apparently. For those with Scottish heritage, it's also a great way to connect with family. Established Titles is having a great limited time sale. So go to EstablishedTitles.com slash The Quartering to save 10% off today. And remember to use the discount code The Quartering or just click the link below. That's EstablishedTitles.com slash The Quartering. Still time before Christmas. Now, AB gave his first sit down interview on the event that happened on his film set. But legal experts say it might not have been a smart move. Uh, AB, who is also a producer on the movie, was holding a prop that allegedly discharged all on its own last month. But in his first extensive public comment since the incident, he told ABC News that he never actually engaged the trigger. I would never point at somebody and pull, he said uh, in the interview. PDR is still investigating it, including how a live round even ended up on the set. And no charges have yet to been brought in the case, but legal experts told Insider the interview was a risky move for AB who could potentially still be criminally charged. Well, it's because he's a narcissist and he wanted to get out there and sympathy farm rather than shutting his pie hole. Quote, AB has made a super risky move by agreeing to do this interview, especially because he's taking an absolute position on how the event happened. LA uh, attorney Miguel Castillo said in a statement provided to Insider. He said it was especially risky given the findings of the investigation are still unknown. He also said 
that the interview was probably conducted with a lot of forethought and that AB's comments could be setting his legal team up to argue that AB was the, on the receiving end. He's actually the victim of a rare occurrence and to shift the plane on blame onto the supplier or manufacturer. But Harry Kaz, Kazakane, an LA-based private investigator, said in an email to Insider that detectives could likely tell if the prop malfunctioned. That would be easy to figure out based on how resistant the hammer is when it's cocked. And they would be able to duplicate a misfire. There would be a ton of evidence if it is a malfunctioning prop. In a statement, a former assistant U.S. attorney said um, that the interview was a, quote, mistake from a legal perspective, adding that his remarks will likely be used against him in civil courts or criminal trial if that happens. A.B. has already been targeted by multiple lawsuits related to the event. Even if A.B. didn't pull, that doesn't absolve him from any kind of liability. At best, the interview was a calculated public relations move that may backfire, he said. L.A. criminal defense attorney who has represented high-profile people uh, said that she thought the interview may have actually helped him. He came across as very genuine, genuine, honest, and natural. Well, I wonder why that is. I mean, could it be that he's an actor and he was acting? I mean... I can't possibly be sure, but what's interesting is now Alec has deleted his Twitter account just days after the shocking ABC interview. AB has deleted his main Twitter account just days after his first sit down about everything that happened. Overnight, the A-listers verified uh, account had been taken off Twitter and listed as the account doesn't exist. Now, what we know is, did he delete it? Maybe, but he could also have simply deactivated it. His other secondary account remains active, although it hasn't been used for more than a year, as does his wife's Instagram. AB had been tweeting from it more as of late, and the account was used to post his first statement on everything that happened on set. Um, AB then deleted, or he has deleted the account multiple times, including during the controversy over his wife's Spanish heritage. His representatives did not immediately respond to Deadline's request for comment. The move comes just three days after his much-trailed first sit-down interview about everything that happened on the film set with uh, George Snuffleupagus. During the emotional interview, A.B. made the shocking claim that he actually didn't pull and that it's just a spooky ghost was the one that did. He gave Snuffleupagus a detailed rundown of the timeline of events and said it was highly unlikely and said it was highly unlikely that he would be criminally charged over what took place and probably is your name's in that little black book though mr ab not a good look not a good look what's interesting though is you know do we think that he will be charged well you know i would argue that you know the more he keeps trotting around in public and you know uh blaming everybody else you know, if I'm investigating this or if I'm the sheriff on this, I'm probably more likely to consider it given maybe this is just me. You tell me what you all think in the comment sections down below. Do you think that this does good or, or bad for him? To me, I see this and I understand I'm jaded as like a Hollywood celebrity who's trying to get out in front of this on a PR move um, rather than somebody who's genuinely feeling, you know, remorse because he actually said that he does not feel any. You can see this. John Schneider says he feels just disgusted by AB's refusal to show any guilt following the interview. The Dukes of ha uh, Hazard star slammed AB for agreeing into the interview with George Snuffleupagus about the event. He also did a video and showed how it would be nearly impossible for this this weapon to just simply fire itself. You know, a spooky ghost. Someone is responsible for what happened, and I can't say who that was, but it's not me, A.B. told Snuffleupagus. Honest to God, if I felt responsible, I might have ended myself. Wow. I mean, just wow. Way, way to get over that, like, immediately, right? Schneider, who's been critical of AB's decision to do the interview, wasn't buying it. This is becoming an obvious attempt to blame the prop, the actor told Fox News Digital. 
They don't work that way. They don't load themselves. They don't fire themselves. That's absurd. I'm dismayed that AB's refusal to show any guilt, shame, or remorse for his actions. I'm embarrassed for my industry and the dark cloud that it's causing to come over it. My sincere hope is that this is not a smokescreen to hide some sort of darker truth. In a tell-all, AB claimed despite holding it, he didn't pull. Before the interview, Shanner shared his thoughts on the matter in an 18-minute 18 18 video titled Seriously, Alec? The 61-year-old claimed in an interview that all designed to make us feel sorry for AB and claim that the teary-eyed actor's emotional response to the interview was BS. He questioned the conversation by asking whether viewers are supposed to believe that the thing just went off by itself. This is a wonderful business we all work in. We're honored and privileged to be a part of it, he continued. So when someone takes junk, which obviously George and AB have done here, when they, t uh, when they take a dump... <laughs> Here's obviously this woman who's still gone. Her family's still without a mother, wife. This is absurd. He believes this is the propaganda machine that is responsible for perpetuating the idea that AB is actually the victim in all of this. Well, I'm sure he believes that he really is. That's exactly what normal people do. They delete their Twitter accounts after doing a ridiculous tell-all interview. Totally don't look suspicious at all there, AB. Definitely don't look like you're a little too worried that maybe those charges are coming down the pipe because certainly you are doing the best you can to cover your tracks. Let me know what you think of all this in the comment section down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.